most sailors don't know what it's like to win. For the amazing Robbie Nash, the current world champion and the defending O'Neill champion, he wins the majority of events he enters. And he's been winning ever since he captured his first world title at the age of 13. Now, eight years later, his sailboarding magic has even bewildered judges as to what exactly he pulls off. On a bad day, he looks good. The moment I'm just trying to get the whole the whole act together. My equipment's not really working the way I'd like it to. My jumps aren't really the way I want them to be. My wave riding's not the way I'd really like them to be. I've just got to get more coordinated you know, and all around. I don't have any one problem area. It's just everything's not quite there right now because of the lack of practice. And um, at the moment, there's probably 10 or 15 guys, all of whom could win the contest depending on how the conditions are or if they're having a good day, bad day, if they're town or off, and so on. Uh, there are really a lot of good guys now. Sharp with a great jump. Top hopping is Robbie Nash, and Robbie Nash has got a wall of water in front of him. Side slips, snaps off the curl, maintains, and continues. On the left is Alex Aguero. Watch Aguero with there. Nice, clean jump. In and out, scoring some big points. Outrageous. Winner on the left side pulls out of the way. It's Pudmore. Pudmore and winner, both time aerials. Both attempting some aerial 360s, it looked like. In the semifinals, Robbie Nash sets a new precedent in competition history. Nash successfully completes the most difficult maneuver. He helicopters into a 360-degree aerial loop and sails away. Nash pumping for air. Yes! Robbie Nash completes it! Robbie Nash completes an aerial 360 helicopter. Incredible! Nash pulls it off. He saw what he had to do because Eric Sharp is very sharp out there. Ripping it apart and look at Alex Aguirre down the line. What a hot heat. Non-stop action here at the 1985 O'Neill. One-handed duck jump snaps out of the wave. Here comes a Gary. He's got to make up. And he does. Oh, look at that. Feet apart. Perfect. A jump by Angulo. A great snap back. Now it's single eliminations. The final matchup, 16-year-old Mark Angulo, known affectionately as Baby Goo from the island of Oahu. He has outsailed all challengers, and now he meets the remarkable Alex Aguera. Aguera, originally from Florida, is yet another veteran at the young age of 23. He has dominated who keep his major events since October of 1984. Here comes Aguera, Baby Goo! In the men's, you're looking at uh, Mark Angulo, Robbie Nash, or Alex Aguera, in my opinion, to be right up on top. My money's on Alex Aguera this year. I'd say the contest is going to come down to a, a, a duel between Robbie Nash and Alex Aguera in the men's division, and Mark Angulo is going to be right in their third place, I would say. He gets pumped up a little bit. He says, God, Alex is falling. Oh, and that is a nice aerial re-entry, side-slipping, coming sideways. One-handed duck jump snaps out of the way. Here comes a Gary. He's got to make up. And he does. Alex, undefeated, Hukukipa, the last two events. You're going for your third in a row, the Triple Crown. <laughs> How can you sail so perfect? Is, is the knowledge here? I don't know, local knowledge helps quite a bit. Especially on days like today when it's really gusty and offshore. Some of the other guys look a lot better when it's lighter wind. And then when it picks up like this, it's a little sometimes. So it is quite a bit of local knowledge.
Angulo right on the edge and making everything work for him as Alex Aguera, a perfectionist. Aguera, ninth on the World Cup last year, third overall in the World Cup in 83, third in wave action. 23-year-old Alex Aguera, living in Paia. It's right down the matchup of the century, Hikipa, in the men's division. Alex Aguera, undefeated in competition so far, has got a challenger by the name of Robbie Nett, two-time World Cup champion. Robbie had to work his way up through the loser. Alex, what is it? A suit. How do you beat Aguera? If anybody can today, it's going to be Nett. <laughs> nice transition to pick up that wave for Nash as Aguera scoring more points on that wave. Back up win Aguera now. Here comes his snap. Snapping it off the top. Roller coaster down. Makes it down the line one more time. Very oh, off the left for Aguera. Bobby Nash is considered the best all round sailor in the world. His World Cup championships attested that. On the other hand, Alex Aguera seems to be unbeatable. If anybody can knock off Aguera, it's Robbie Nash. Yeah, I kind of glance back and see what he's doing. If he does something spectacular, I try and do something too. If he keeps falling in, then you try and play a little bit more conservative. Unless it's somebody like Robbie who might pull something off ridiculous, so you have to keep going, <laughs> even if he does fall. And he, here comes again air. One more wave. And he loops it! He loops it twice! Goes around and goes double. Robbie off the top aerial rebound anywhere. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> Here's some pumps in the air. <laughs> Long jump for a gear. Oh! And the wave breaks! Oh! He lost his nose but goes up and over. On the outside, Alex Aguirre picking up a clean wave as a horn blast. Woo! Non-stop, heads down the line, a great wave. Nash heads out for some air, upside down. I'm feeling pretty good. I wish I wouldn't have fallen in that one time. I had to go for a good swim. That might have cost it for me. I don't know. We'll find out here in a little bit. Just when Alex fell down, I couldn't do anything. There, were there, any was, waves. there weren't any waves, but um, I think you got it because your off the lips were just as good as his. Yeah, I was going straight up. Because if you know, the, it was close, but they'll probably if if they give it to you, you're gonna have to go. You got to loop. You got to try a loop again. Well, I couldn't week. that time. Um, I didn't have a chance. It was close, but I think they'll give it to you. Both Robbie and Alex were fantastic on the waves. Robbie pulled off unreal transitions, and Alex performed breathtaking aerials. When Aguera lost his rig and went swimming, Nash really wasn't in scoring position. The judges awarded Alex Aguera with a split decision, five to two. Aguera, this year's O'Neill Invitational winner. This one was Robbie Nash. Definitely. The first. Yeah, it was, that's the toughest one I came up against. He's like noted as the, the best in the world. And for a couple of days there, while we were stalled, I knew that if I got through against Charlie, I'd go up against him. And that was all I was thinking about was beating Robbie Nash for a couple of days there. As soon as I got through with Charlie, I was lucky to beat one up there. <laughs> Sweeping high-speed turns, blasting off breaking avalanches of water, charging across hollow waves, the high-performance rigs and their pilots are seeking a vision of the future. And here at the O'Neill Invitational, you expect the unexpected.